Hey everyone, it's Jalissa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys had an amazing week. Today, we will be thinking the question, what would Jesus do? Now, today we're going to think of a whole bunch of scenarios and then we're gonna ask ourselves, what would Jesus do? Then we're gonna find out the answer and back up scripture with it. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Wait, 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 before we get started, did you subscribe if not already? Did you like? Most importantly, did you share this video to spread the gospel to other people? If not, you have five seconds to do that. One, two, three, four, five. Now, did you complete that mission? I hope you guys did. All right, now we're ready, let's go. Now, the first scenario you're going to think of is your friend is wearing an outfit, but then she starts comparing herself to other people and is like, oh my gosh, my outfit is ugly. And then she compares her hair to other people and she's like, oh my gosh, I look so bad today. But we're gonna ask ourselves this question, what would Jesus do? Now, Jesus would say to the friend, my child, you are not ugly because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. And God made humankind in likeness of his image. This scenario follows a group of boys writing something false online about a boy in their class and then posting it. What would Jesus do in the situation? What would he tell them? Jesus would tell those high schoolers, don't slander against someone, meaning don't make false accusations, and we shouldn't slander because it doesn't align with God's word. Why would we want to put false accusations on someone, even if they did something to us? That's why we have to forgive them. He would also tell you to never speak evil to one another. That's just not cool, y'all. That is not cool. Now this next scenario is of an adult who just gets angry. They're just angry all the time. If their boss tells them to do something, they're angry. They're just so angry. I don't understand how they could be this angry. Now, what would Jesus say to this? What would he say to this angry person? Hmm? Jesus would tell this person, be slow to anger, refrain from anger, and that when you're slow to anger, you'll have more of an understanding. But if you just have a hasty temper, you'll have lack of good sense. And that's not cool. So let's be slow to anger. Now this last scenario, I can definitely relate to this because I am a procrastinator sometimes. So I'm gonna use myself as an example. Julissa procrastinates to study on the test that she knows she has to do. What would Jesus say about this? Now Jesus would tell me that whatever I do, I have to do my best work as I'm doing it for him and not for the world. Now you're probably like, well, don't we always do everything for the Lord? Yes, and that is true. When we do things for the Lord, we always put in our best efforts. We put in our best work. So the Lord is saying that we should do the same thing even when we're doing our studies, even when we're at our job. We should put in our best work. We shouldn't just leave it off to the side and then pick it up later because we wouldn't do that to the Lord. So the same way that you will work for the Lord is the same way that you should be doing your studies and doing your job. But remember, everything you do should be pointing to the Lord. All right? All right. All right, y'all. That'll be it for today. I hope you guys understood and make sure whenever you're in a situation always ask yourself what would jesus do or as most people say it the most common way would be wwjd what would jesus do and now you know so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget guys we still have a goal of getting 500 subscribers by the end of the year we can do it all it takes is y'all's help and don't worry we'll be at 500 in no time so just make sure you guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also, this week's TikTok Tuesday was posted, so if not already, you guys should go see that. If you forgot my TikTok, it's the gospel underscore with Julissa, and it's also in the description box down below. And if you missed this week's Wait Wednesday, it is okay because there will be a new one next Wednesday. And my Instagram is the same thing as my TikTok. The gospel underscore with Julissa. Well, I hope you guys have an amazing week. I'll see you later. Bye.